Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be giving you some Adopt Me tips and tricks that can make your life easier. So, right off the bat, my first one is that you can use a grappling hook instead of a vehicle and it will actually be faster and you can also use them indoors. So, for an example, let me grab this grappling hook and go outside. I can just click literally anywhere I want. Wait, let me get this thing loaded up. Yep, there it is. And it will take me there like super fast. And then with the vehicle, like let's do the average vehicle speed, which might be this. You don't really get there as fast. And with the grappling hook, you can literally go across the map super fast like it's just super efficient and it's just super duper easy to use has it ever been nighttime and you just go in your house and you have to travel all the way to the bedroom just to put your pet or even a baby to sleep and even with showers well there's a way that can make this easier and is more easily accessible so you go and you buy a simple cheap crib like the basic crib can do just fine and you shrink it all the way down and hide it and bam your pet or even a baby will be able to sleep and it's right in your entrance so the tip is basically to put a crib or shower in the entrance of your house so that it's more easily accessible same thing for shower look up shower buy the cheapest one shrink it all the way down and just put it somewhere you know super easy and accessible another little tip is that if you're ever in any place where there is a door you know you don't have to open them you can easily just walk by them through them because whenever people come in my house they open the doors and it's so annoying to have to close them all up again so you don't have to waste your time and open the door unless you want to but you can simply just go through them another tip is that if your pet is hungry and you are either going to go somewhere where there is food or you are near somewhere there is food just use that food instead of your own it'll save you a lot of food and money like if you have the school chore simply just use the stuff that the school provides for you let's say you need to go back home but you don't have a magic door and you just don't feel like driving all the way home simply just reset your character and you'll be back home good as new have you ever had a piece of furniture that you've just wanted to color but you can't well, there is actually a solution. Go over into settings and go under gameplay and turn on furniture multicoloring. Now, not only can you color everything that you can possibly imagine, but you can color every single part of it. That's how I got this really cool jukebox effect. And then my last tip is that pets you had before the journal update and no longer have will not show up in your journal. What I mean by this is that if you go in the journal and let's say the journal update happened in I think it was August 17th or something like that. Yep, August 17th, 2021. And you used to have a cow in May 2021, but you no longer have it. It will not show up in your inventory and it will just say that you never really had it even though you did along with this little tip pets you've had since the journal update will only show the date of the journal update and will not actually show when you got that pet for example i got my evil unicorn around 2020 before the journal update so it's just gonna say august 17th 2021 when the journal update happened if it makes sense well guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that now your adopt me life is a lot more easier than it was before and i'll see you guys in the next one bye